welcome students welcome to our series of lectures in crystal system uh, crystal structure okay so we have seen the seven different types of crystal systems and their possible gravel axis in our last video now in continuation we'll see right what is cubic system okay cubic system we have seen the first of that uh, list i have given where a equal to b equal to c all three sides are equal and alpha beta gamma are all equal to 90 90 90 okay means if i want to draw a cubic unit cell i'll be drawing straight like this okay right a cubic system cubic unit cell can be simply drawn this way okay here alpha beta gamma all are 90 90 90 all three sides are a a a okay so i call this a as lattice constant a bar is our lattice constant okay now before going into the types of gravel axis in cubic system right now a cube has what are the general properties of a cube a cube has six faces okay 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay cube has what you call eight corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it has 12 edges it just means these lines okay so this is one edge 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and here for 12 so q has six faces eight corners and 12 edges keep that in mind and what do we call this line as okay this is like the side of the q okay it is equal to a equal in all three sides okay now what do we call this line as this line is called face diagonal this line is called the face diagonal okay if this side is a and this side is a the length of the body the face diagonal will be root to a okay simple geometry okay right now the face diagonal of a cube is root to a remember these things okay next one what do we call this line as okay what do you call this line as this is also diagonal but this one is passing through the body center of the cube okay so this is called body diagonal body diagonal okay right now this side in one side of this right angle triangle okay this is side a because it is one side and this one is a face diagonal its length is root to a so this is a and this is root to a in this right angle triangle root of a square plus root 2a square that is uh, 2a square plus a square 3a square under root so this will be root 3a this will be root 3a so length of the face diagonal is root 2a and length of the body diagonal is root 3a remember these two points which are important okay q has six faces eight corners and 12 edges length of the face diagonal is root 2a length of the body diagonal will be root 3a okay now okay so with this preliminary knowledge we'll enter into the cubic system okay right cubic system has what you call three types of gravel axis in the chat okay it is p i f we have seen p means simple or primitive i means body centric f means face centric okay so i'll take the first one simple cubic system okay now throughout this crystal structure i think you have to draw cubes okay nearly 100 times okay by the time you will become perfect right in drawing a cube with your hands only you don't need any scales also okay this is a cube of side a okay right now this is simple cubic system okay simple cubic system okay r cubic p also we we'll call it. okay cubic p simple cubic system do you know abbreviation as sc or cubic p okay each side is a now what is simple cubic in the name itself says that simplest of all crystal systems simply there will be eight atoms on the eight corners that's all okay nowhere else you will find any other atom okay means right on eight corners means on this corner right this corner this corner and on all the eight corners we have eight atoms that's all 
Okay, eight lattice points will be there. This is the simplest of all ones. Okay, that's why it is known as simple cubic system. Okay, now this is simple cubic. Body centric means you can guess. Okay, right? Body centric. I am not drawing now, but body centric means you can guess. Apart from eight lattice points on the eight corners, there will be one additional point, lattice point present at the body center of the unit cell also. Okay, that is known as body centric cubic system, BCC. Okay, or cubic I we call. Now, in FCC, okay, right, there will be okay, there will be eight lattice points on the eight corners. Apart from eight lattice points on the eight corners, there will be right one additional lattice point present at the center of each face. Okay, Q has how many faces? Six faces. On the centers of all the six faces, there will be one additional lattice point present like this. Okay, like this, like this, okay, like this. On um, the center of the front face, it will be here. Center of the back face, it will be somewhere over here like this. Okay, these six additional lattice points, these six lattice points are in addition to the eight lattice points on the eight corners. Okay, there are only what is a lattice point in FCC. Okay, so simple cubic system is simply eight at eight lattice points on the eight corners. Okay, the BCC means in addition to eight lattice points on the eight corners, one additional lattice point will be present at this center of body set, at the body center. Okay, face centric means there won't be any body centric lattice point. Eight corners will have eight lattice points and at the center of each face, one additional lattice point will be present. Okay, that is known as FCC or cubic F. Okay, now in all these three things, okay, we'll study about in crystal systems, we'll say I'll draw now, okay. Right, this is FCC. Next one is BCC. I'll uh, simple cubic again. I'll draw like this. Okay. Right. So eight lattice points on the eight corners only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is our simple cubic system. This is our FCC system. Okay. Now body centric means, right, it will be like this. Okay, draw one cube, put eight lattice points on the eight corners. Okay, and put one additional lattice point at the center of the body center. Okay. Right now, this is our BCC. Okay, so I've drawn all the three uh, Bravo axes. In simple cubic, only eight additional lattice points. BCC one additional lattice points in the body center. In FCC, six additional lattice points in center of each face. Okay, right now, now in cubic system, we have to evaluate some five parameters. Okay, what are those five parameters? They are like this. Okay, they are like this. First one is coordination number. Coordination. Coordination number. Okay, second one, nearest neighbor distance. Nearest neighbor distance. Third one, atomic radius. Atomic radius small r. Okay. Fourth one is uh, what is that? Number of lattice points per unit cell. Number of lattice points per unit cell n. Okay. Next one is packing fraction. Packing. Fraction. Okay, so these are the five points which we have to evaluate for simple cubic, BCC, and FCC. Okay, right, this is important from exam point of view. Most of the exams, right, questions come from these. Oh, oh what is the uh, nearest neighbor distance in BCC, right? Like this. Okay, now what is the packing fraction of BCC or what is the packing fractions of what are the packing fractions of simple cubic, BCC, and FCC? All three will be asked in one stroke in one, some exams. Okay, now what is coordination number? Coordination number is the number of nearest equidistant neighbors. Number of nearest equidistant neighbors. Okay. 
you take any lattice point. Okay, you take any lattice point. Okay, right? Anything you can consider from simple cubic. Okay, how, for each lattice point, okay, how many number of nearest and equidistant means what? Right? All which lattice points are the closest to our lattice point, and all of them should be at the same distance. Like that, how many are there? That number I want. How many are there? which are closest and are at equal distance. Okay, now look at this one. Now I use a number. Okay, this is my lattice point number one. Okay, this is two, this is three, this is four, uh, this is five, this is six, this is seven and eight. Okay, now I'll take this as my reference lattice point. Okay, for number one, how many atoms are closest and are at equal distance? Okay, now look at this two is at a distance A. Okay, atom 3 or lattice point 3 is at a distance of root to A because it is face diagonal root to A. 4 is also at a distance A only because it is also another corner. Okay, 6 is at a distance of root to A because this is front face, face diagonal. Okay, this is not of a root to A, is more than A. Again, 7 is at distance A only. Okay, 8 is also at a distance of root to A, more than A. And what about 5? Five? 5 is on the other side of the cube. Okay, now I have to draw one body diagonal to reach 5. What is length of the body diagonal? Root 3a. Means 5 is at a distance of root 3a. Root 3a means 1.73 to a. Okay, much more than a. Okay, and 8 and 6 and 3 are at root 2a distance. 1.414a. Okay, whereas how many are closest and equal distance? And are at equal distance. Okay, means 2, right? 4 and 7. Okay, these three, two, four, seven are closest to our lattice point. They are at distance A and same distance A also. Okay, now, is that all? Apparently, only three are there. But remember, we are talking about lattice. Okay, what I have drawn here is only unit cell. Okay, right? Unit cell is only, like in my previous examples, unit cell is like a single room in a big college building. Okay, I'm talking about the entire college structure. Okay, of course, for reference, I'm taking a single room. But in college means what? There won't be any single room. I cannot pluck out one single room and do experiments, isn't it? Okay, it's a part and parcel of the building. Similarly, okay, right? A unit cell also, what we are doing is what? Okay, we are simply drawing one cubic unit cell, that's all. We are drawing one cubic unit cell like this. Okay, but for every unit cell, there will be one more unit cell, right? On its left also like this isn't it if one more unit cell will be like this one more unit cell will be on its left like this one more unit cell will be on the top like this okay one more unit cell will be in the front one more unit cell will be at the back like this on all sides there will be unit cells present this is the actual lattice Okay, now for this lattice point, how many are nearest and closest distance means? First one is this one. Okay, this one. This is at a distance A. This is also at a distance A. Okay, this is also at a distance A. You know, the real example when I considered only one unit cell. But if I consider the entire lattice, there will be one more unit cell and that unit cell also, right, will have a lattice point at this corner. So this will also be at a distance A only. And if you consider the unit cell at the bottom, okay, right, there will be one more lattice point here, which is also at a distance A only. Means one, two, three, four and five atoms are found apparently in this diagram at a distance A. Means which are closest and nearest and equidistant, okay. But remember, there will be one more unit cell in the front also, which I cannot draw, which I cannot draw. Out of the board, one unit cell will be front in the front part of our unit cell. Okay, at the corner of this unit cell also, an additional lattice point will be present. Okay, that will also be at a distance A only. Okay, so, right, totally how many units, uh, how many lattice points are there, which are at a distance A, right? All are at a distance A means, right? If you take one more unit cell here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, coordination number. Coordination number for simple cubic system, I'll write it as what? I'll write it as six. Okay, there are six nearest equidistant neighbors. 
I'm not considering one unit cell, remember, I'm considering the entire lattice. I'm, I'm considering the entire lattice. Okay. Nearest neighbor distance. Those six lattice points are at what distance? Okay, just now we have seen those six lattice points are at a distance A. Okay, so nearest neighbor distance in simple cubic system becomes A. Okay. Now atomic radius. Atomic radius means now here I'll make three assumptions. Okay, one is Atoms are all rigid spheres. Rigid spheres mean just like hard cricket balls. Okay. All atoms are equally sized. Okay. All atoms are of equal size. Okay. All are rigid spheres and adjacent atoms touch each other. These are the three assumptions which I'll, I'll, I'll be making. Okay. Right. Means adjacent atoms. What are two adjacent atoms? Nearest neighbors will be touching each other. Okay. All are rigid spheres. When they are touching each other, they won't get pressed. Okay. Means they will retain that spherical shape. Okay. And all are of same size. All are of same size. These are our assumptions. Now, means if I draw an unit cell and if I say one lattice point is present here. Okay. It is like this. Again. All of you also should keep one notebook and pen in front of you and try to draw what I am drawing. Okay. Not simply listening, listening to my video lecture. Okay, that will not go in your brain and remain there. Okay, unless you draw and practice for yourself. Now, I have shown you that there will be eight lattice points on the eight corner. For that matter, say I said one lattice point is at this point, one lattice point is here, one lattice point is here, one lattice point is here. I am considering only the front face. Okay, one lattice point is present here, means there is one atom present here. That adjacent atom should touch each other, means this atom will be like this. And this atom will be like this, and this atom will be like this, this atom will be like this. Now look here, all atoms are of same size, they are rigid spheres, adjacent atoms are touching each other. Adjacent atoms are touching each other. This is how we should imagine, means what? Similarly, there will be four more atoms on the back face. Means, imagine, how do you imagine a simple cubic system, okay, of elemental solid means, you take four atoms, okay, put them as a square, all four balls touching each other. Okay, take four more cricket balls and place those exactly on the top of these four balls such that all eight balls are touching. Okay, now join the centers of eight balls. You'll get simple cubic system. Now join the centers of eight balls imaginarily. Okay, right? Imagine that all centers are joined. Okay, you'll get a cubic, you can imagine a cubic structure. Okay, with eight balls on the eight corners. Okay, that is our simple cubic system. Now, in this, these two are nearest neighbors, they are touching each other. Okay, these two are nearest neighbors, they are touching each other. What is the distance between this atom and this atom? That is nothing but A. That is nearest neighbor distance is distance between two centers that's all. So in this picture, what is the radius of each atom? What is the radius of each atom means? Half of what you call the distance between the two centers becomes the radius of each atom. That is A by 2, A by 2. This also A by 2, right? A by 2, A by 2. Radius of each atom will be A by 2. Okay, so atomic radius R equal to, so what is atomic radius R? Okay, R equal to in simple cubic system, you can write it as A by 2. And remember, whatever is nearest neighbor distance, okay, atomic radius will be half of that. Take it as a rule. Okay, take it as a rule. Whatever is nearest neighbor distance, right, half of that will become nearest neighbor distance in any, in, in crystal structure. Okay. Nearest neighbor distance is A in the case of simple group. So it's immediately make it half. Okay, so that becomes your atomic radius. In any case, let it be simple cubic or BCC or FCC, or whatever it is. Okay. Ne atomic radius is nearest neighbor distance half point. Okay, next one. Number of lattice points per unit cell n equal to how many? Okay. Now look at this picture clearly. Okay. Right? Imagine that I am drawing, right? Four uh, what you call spheres on the four corners at the back also and now we cannot draw here in this board now how many are present in our unit cell means <coughs> apparently there are eight lattice points okay we will say that eight okay but remember here all eight atoms are not completely going into our unit cell only means all atoms are not completely getting into our unit cell okay now look here three fourths of this atom is outside our unit cell only this part of the atom is actually into our unit cell. Similarly, from this also, this three force is not coming. Only this part of atom is coming into our unit cell. Similarly, this part of the atom is coming into our unit cell. Here also, 
this part of the atom is also only coming into our unit cell. Okay, means effectively what is happening here remaining now if I, now this corner is a common corner for how many unit cells remember okay i can draw one more unit cell here like this okay so our at this car this corner point is a common corner for this unit cell and this unit cell also i can draw one more unit cell on the top of this unit cell like this and one more unit cell on the top of this unit cell like this now our corner is becoming a common corner for not only this unit cell, but this second one, this third one, and fourth one. Similarly, I can bring four more unit cells, right, and place them in the front of this touching all these four unit cells, isn't it? Okay, I can imagine, I can take four more unit cells and bring them and put them in front of these four unit cells, touching them. Okay, such that our point becomes a common corner for totally eight unit cells. Okay, our, this every corner becomes a common corner for eight unit cells. Okay, and this atom is like this means what? All unit cells are sharing that atom. All unit cells, all eight unit cells are sharing our atom. Means our atom is actually getting distributed equally into all eight unit cells. Means what fraction of atom is actually coming into our unit cell? Means, right, if they this atom is shown in our unit cell, but it can be shown in this atom, in this unit cell also, in this unit cell also, and in this unit cell also. Similarly, the four more unit cells which I am putting in front also will have the same atom common to all of them. Okay. So what fraction of actual atom is coming into our unit cell? Only one-eighth is coming, that's all. Okay. One-eighth of the atom is actually coming into our unit cell. Okay. From this atom also, same case, from this atom also, from this atom also means, Though there are eight atoms apparently, okay, that means I am seeing eight atoms in the unit cell represented, but effectively only one eighth of each atom is coming into our unit cell, okay. So one eighth into like that, how many atoms are there totally in our unit cell? Eight atoms are being shown, okay. From each of the eight atoms, only one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth is coming, okay. So eight into one by eight is equal to one, that is effectively how many atoms are present. Effectively, how many atoms are present means only one atom is present in our unit cell. Okay, one atom is present in our unit cell. So, number of atoms per unit cell is equal to, okay, number of atoms per unit cell is equal to, right, one. I'll write, how do I write that one? Okay, I'll write one as eight into one by eight. You should remember how that one has come. Okay, in the diagram, there will be eight atoms effectively being shown. But why am I writing only one atom is 8 into 1 by 8. Immediately you should recollect that only one eighth of each atom is actually coming into our unit cell. So 8 into 1 by 8 is equal to 1. So you also wrote it down as 8 into 1 by 8 equal to 1. Don't write directly as n equal to 1. Okay, because at the time of examination when you are revising, okay, suddenly in that examination tension you won't recollect how that 1 has come. Okay, so 8 into 1 by 8 is equal to 1. Okay, next one, packing fraction, yes. Now, packing fraction, yes, packing fraction, that means, now, uh, how do I start this? Means, imagine this is a room, I'm giving a lecture in the room. This room is like a cubic room, almost cubic room only, okay? If I ask, somebody asks me to fill this room completely with the cricket balls, what do I do? Okay, this room should be jam-packed with cricket balls, such that not even half ball can fit extra, means I should what you call pack so many cricket balls into this room such that now I cannot put an additional cricket ball. So what do I do? What do I do? I'll close all the doors. Okay, I'll make a hole on the top of this room. Okay, I'll bring one, two or uh, one or two lorries of cricket balls. Put one lorry of cricket balls. Pour one lorry of cricket balls into my room. Okay, shake the room. Okay, put some more balls in half lorry again. Okay, and shake the room. Why am I shaking, shaking in the room? Okay, such that the balls are spread out uniformly, there are no gaps. Okay, I keep on uh, shaking the room slightly. That's how we put what you call some ATA into any box. No, we buy ATA from a shop, it was in a packet. Okay, I want to put it in my box in the house. What do people do? They put some ATA, it will come as a heap, right? They will adjust it such that it goes down, settles down fully, put some more, again settle it. Like if you pour all one kg like that straightly, only half kg will be in the box, half kg will be falling outside. So what do people do? They'll keep on shaking the box such that it goes inside, gets settled down, no gaps are left out, etc, etc. Okay, I can put, so one kg ata I'll try to put. 
Okay, in a 1 kg box, we can fix 1 kg yata. If it is coming free, people, some people are efficient enough to put 2 kg yata in 1, one kg box on. It's a different case, okay? Just joking. Okay, now, right? So, that's why I'm saying that I'm shaking the walls of that. Balls are spread uniformly without any air gaps, okay? So, like that, I'll push, push the last ball also into this room. Okay, and close the door. Okay, and close the door. Such that, now I'll say this room is jam-packed with, jam-packed with cricket balls, okay? Nobody can put even half a cricket ball into this room. It will not fit. Okay, I have already fit. Okay, jam packed this room with cricket balls. Now, the question is, can we put any water into this room? Okay, can we put any water into this room? Means, just kind of think. Definitely, the answer is yes. Okay, why? Right, we can put some water. Now, I'll ask you, how many liters of water can fit? I uh, can be poured into this room. Okay, right. Now, how do you come to that? How many liters of water I can put inside this room? Having cricket balls fully jam-packed. Okay, how do we proceed to solve this problem? Okay, why, why are you confident that you can put some water? You can put some water means it is like this. Okay, even though the balls are all touching each other, okay, there is some gap left out in between the balls. There is some gap left out in between the balls like this. Okay, in that balls, you may not put another cricket ball of same size, but you can put anything, powder you can put, or water you can, any liquid you can put, no issue, or even smaller balls also. Okay, that's most interesting case, that's how, there's a difference between iron and steel, remember, okay, iron means iron atoms will be there, extremely hard, no, no issue. But, what is steel? Steel is 5-6 times harder than iron. Okay, what is the difference between steel and iron? People add some 2% carbon to it. Okay, iron means Z equal to 26. 26 Yafi 56 weight. Okay, iron cobalt nickel. Okay, 26 Yafi 56. Means, right, the 56 electrons will be there, right, in an iron atom. Iron atom is a big atom. Carbon, carbon at, at root number, how do you write? 6 C12. Carbon atom number is only 6. Carbon will have only 6 electrons in only 2 shells, that's all. Means carbon atom is a very small atom compared to iron atom. So, if I add some carbon atoms to iron, those carbon atoms will go and what you call fit into these empty spaces. Okay, so whatever that um, movement is, the gap is there between these at iron atoms, copper atoms will go and fit into those. Okay, such that iron atoms cannot move at all. Iron atoms cannot move. Okay, all the void spaces, all any what you call li line dislocations, etc., will be completely filled up by carbon atoms. Such that now iron atoms are more tightly packed now, they cannot even move like this, such that it becomes very hard. Okay, if you add too much carbon, it breaks. Okay, steel breaks also. So people calculate how much iron to be put. Okay, for what purpose? Okay, chains, iron made up of, sorry, chains made up of iron will have one carbon composition. Train tracks made up of iron will have some carbon composition. Axis will have, right? Axis will have one type of carbon con configuration. Okay, hammers will have another type of carbon configuration. Okay, knives and swords will have another type of mild carbon steel, right? High carbon steel, low carbon steel, like that. Okay, it depends on the amount of carbon we are adding to iron. Okay, what is actually happening, right? These carbon atoms will go and fit into those void spaces or empty spaces okay right such that the atoms now are jam-packed they cannot even move at all hardness increases okay that's the idea so this void this side call it as the space which is left out vacant is called void space or null space that's important actually right in material science okay which type of structure is having how much void space so that in that void space what type of atoms can be put Okay, so what happens if I put those atoms? How the properties of the system modify? That's how we'll be studying, proceeding. Okay, so I should, first of all, I have to add some atoms. I should know how much empty space is there, isn't it? Okay, for all that, we are studying this. Okay, to know that. Once I know all these things, now I can think whether I can put carbon atom or beryllium atom or boron atom. And see. I'll see what happens if I am putting boron atom. What happens if I see, if I add carbon atom? When I add carbon atom, right, the hardness is found to increase by six times. Okay, steel. People add some chromium also into that to get some stainless steel. Okay, tungsten into that, like that. Okay, different type. Our razor blades are there, isn't it? They won't get rusted. Okay, razor blades are there. Okay, they are uh, stainless steel. SS, we call it. Okay, stainless steel. 
and even our trimmers are also right it is also blade only okay but that blade will last for longer okay longer time 500 thousand shapes okay it is will be coated with some tungsten like that okay people add different types of materials to modify the properties of them to suit our requirements to suit our applications okay that's material science okay right now packing fraction here so how many liters of water can we put again coming back to our main discussion okay what do you do do you have to actually put water okay into uh, is what is this meaningless example isn't it what is this room getting filled up with cricket balls lorries of cricket balls where from do i get right how will i pour all those balls into this room okay then why should i bring water and put into that room and see is there no easy method that's what for we study physics no isn't it okay why do people study physics man? because it is there in the syllabus or what okay right now purpose of physics is not because it is there in the syllabus i am forced to read physics okay suppose say right a car is there a car is going like this in front of my room the car is going on the road like this okay its initial speed is 2 meters per second i know its acceleration is 2 meters per second Okay, I know it's ag velocity, I know it's acceleration, I know. If somebody asks me, where do I find the car after a uh, half an hour? Okay, what do I do? If I don't know physics, what do I do? Okay, right, I should run behind this car for half an hour and see where is it going and then come back running again and say, the car is somewhere near Chaminar in Hyderabad. Okay, right? Is that the way we do things? No. Or where was the car 15 minutes before me? So I cannot go backwards. No, I cannot make the car go backwards, isn't it? Okay, car is going forward. I run behind the car for half an hour and see where the car is. There practical possibility is there. But what about the past? You cannot go into the past, isn't it? Then how do I know? Right? How will I know how where the car will be find after half an hour or where car was there half an hour back? Means I don't run behind the car and study. Okay, see where the car is after half an hour. I'll use the relation S yes, equal to right U T plus a half A T square. Okay. I know the initial velocity, I know the acceleration. After half an hour means 30 minutes, 30 minutes means 30 into 60 seconds. I'll substitute and find the distance the car goes in half an hour. Okay, and Google Maps I'll see, right? For my place, what which pretty which uh, place is there after, after at that distance okay i suppose i'll find china is at that much distance i'll say after half an hour car will be found at china sitting here only i don't need half an hour time for that to analyze okay within half minute i'll calculate and tell the car will be found in china after half an hour means what what is the purpose of physics sitting here i'm able to tell the future of the car okay right the thing which will happen after half an hour i'll be able to tell similarly i'll put t equal to minus t and see, before half an hour before where the car was, car was somewhere near Upal, I'll say. Okay, means I am able to, what is the, that's what the greatness of physics. Okay, sitting here at the present time, at this time t, I can tell the future of the car after some time t dash, or I can tell the past of the car after some t double dash. Okay, that's what from physics is studied, isn't it? Sitting here, now sitting here only we are able to tell when I eclipse up in luck. Okay, now people are saying that some Mars has come near the Jupiter, right? Saturn and Jupiter have come closer after 400 years. How do our people, they are able to calculate science, okay? Right, the purpose of studying physics is to predict the future, right? Tell the past also, okay? So, <coughs> anything is like that. Anything will be like that only, okay? Similarly, I don't know how many liters of water can be put into this room means. I don't have to actually put water and see, okay? How do you proceed? Just guess. You will find out volume of the room. Okay, what is volume of the room? Volume of the room. Suppose the room is a cube, cubic room, right? Length into breadth into height. That is nothing but a into a into a. A cube is length of the room. Sorry, volume of the room. Okay. Next one, volume of all the cricket balls. So volume of the room minus volume of all the cricket balls. If you do, you will get empty volume left out. How do you get volume of all the cricket balls? You will take out one cricket ball, measure its radius as accurately as possible using vernier calipers or you want more accuracy, use screw gauge, okay? You measure the radius of each cricket ball, okay? So volume of each cricket ball will be 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of each ball. Then you will measure how many balls you have poured into this room, okay? Suppose say n number of balls you have poured into this room. What is the total volume of all the cricket balls in this room? Okay, n into 4 by 3 by r cube. 
So, volume of the room minus n into volume of all the cricket balls 4 by 3 pi r cube. If you do, you will get the empty volume. Say you get 10 liters of empty volume or say 5 meter cube of volume is as free space. Then you will say 5 liters of water or 500 liters of water can be put into this room. Okay. That is how we will be able to calculate. That is how we calculate this. Now, our packing fraction means it is like this. Our packing fraction means it is like this. Okay, packing fraction F equal to volume of atoms by volume of the unit cell. Okay, actual volume of the atoms by volume of the unit cell. What is actual volume of all the atoms present in the unit cell? N into 4 by 3 pi r cube. This is volume of all the atoms. By what is volume of the unit cell length into breadth into height because it is a cube a equal to b equal to c a into b into c is nothing but a cube. This is our packing fraction. Okay, this is our packing fraction. This is how I define packing fraction. Okay, right now to expect this ratio to be greater than 1 or equal to 1 or less than 1. Yes, to yes. Okay, to expect this ratio to be greater than 1 or equal to 1 or less than 1. Okay. It cannot be greater than 1. Why? It cannot be greater than 1 because balls are inside the room. No, volume of the ball should be less than the volume of the room. Okay, ball. room is not inside the balls, isn't it? Balls are inside the room. So, whatever is on the outside, its volume should be more. Whatever is inside, its volume should be less. That is common sense volume. Okay, so it cannot be greater than 1. Okay, why can't it be equal to 1? Equal to 1 is possible, isn't it? Okay, but still, you will be confident that it is not equal to 1. Why? Okay, why means? There is always some gap left out. Why means? Okay, balls are spherical. Balls are spherical and room is cube. Okay, a spherical ball will never fit into a cubical room perfectly. There are always some gaps left out. That's what is said in an English saying. Square peg in a circular hole, they say. Okay, square peg in a circular hole. Square peg means, square peg means a wooden, right, a cube wooden cube in a circular hole. You cannot fit a wooden cube into a circular hole perfectly, right? There will always be, suppose this is a circular hole, a wooden peg or a wooden cube will be like this. It will not fit, some gaps will always be left out. Okay, that's why the saying has come. Somebody is becoming like a square peg in a circular hole in an armation is what? That fellow is not fitting into the armation perfectly. Okay, right? The boss then looks at, the employer looks at the employee to be perfectly fit into the system, yeah, especially this becomes very, very crucial in armed forces like uh, defense, okay, right, defense, people see whether they will fit into that uh, defense system or not, okay, so defense system is a rigid framework, military is a rigid framework, okay, it cannot be like a civilian one, okay, military administration is different, public administration is different, in public life you can behave as if you want, democracy, no, but military, the framework is very rigid. The rules are very strict. Nobody can go beyond those rules. Okay. See, so that's why before selecting any officers, right, the army sees whether this fellow psych psychology fits into that defense system or not. That's why they'll have that SSB, services selection board. We have some 13 or 16 SSBs all over India, right? Governor will spend thousands of rupees to, to, to get the actual person, suitable person, it does not depend on your qualification, your merit, you are 98% in your BSc or BTEC or something, that does not bother, that is always over now. In preliminary examination, they have tested your academic knowledge. Okay, now they will see your psychology, whether you fit into the defense system or not, if it does not fit, you have a problem for the army. Okay, your psychology should be suitable. When the boss says, go do like this, means you have to go do like that, sit in that Siachen village or sit in that Galvan Valley. Whether Chinese fellows are coming or not, you should see that's all. Let summer come, let winter come. Okay, no, sir, it is too cold here. I, I will go back to my Hyderabad. I will come after in summer. I will come. A boss says stay there means you have to stay there. You should have the psychology of obeying orders. Okay, receiving orders in the proper sense. That's why in SSBs in four days, they'll test your psychology, okay, their attitude towards others, your leadership qualities, okay. Right, your team spirit, how do you go along with the team, how do you make people to move along with you, okay, what opportunities you grab in order to lead the team, okay, how efficiently you can keep your team safe and take along with you, these aspects will be, right, measured or what you call evaluated in four days. The government is spending 
crores of rupees actually on each train they spend tens of thousands of rupees in those four days they will give you a two and four tickets okay they will take you to their barracks they will give you accommodation excellent food everything will be everything will be very good extreme nice things okay for four days they will test you and after that they will call out of 50 students okay of 50 candidates they will bring 1, 11, 12, 11, 12, 14 like that come here remaining things you can go home okay right these people are suitable for them they won't mind let it go on one candidate or two candidates out of 100 they take only one or two okay right why means those whether they'll test in those four days okay whether you will be fit into that system or not that's very 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 important okay right similarly why means okay one geometric shape will not fit into another geometric shape perfectly there are always some loose heads or logical gaps which are left out okay Right? Our atoms are spheres. Universal is spherical in shape. So a sphere cannot perfectly go into, go and fit into a cube. Okay. So because the if it is what you call the universal is cubic, if I give you some bricks, okay, or matchboxes to fit into that universal, yes, that is possible. Okay, you can fit. No void space. The atoms are not uh, cubes, no, they are spheres. Universal is cubic. Okay, that's why the perfect fitting is not there. There is always some gap left out. So it cannot be equal to one also. Okay. So obviously this ratio should be will be less than one only. That ratio will be less than one only. So packing fraction f is less than one always. Remember. Okay. Now look here. Now for simple cubic, let us calculate. Right? For simple cubic, uh, n is equal to number of atoms per unit cell. Effectively, only one atom is present per unit cell. Okay, n is equal to one. Okay. So, n equal to 1 into volume of each atom, 4 by 3. Okay, pi r, r is radius of each atom we have seen. Radius of each atom, how much have we got? A by 2, half of nearest neighbor distance I told. So, it will be A by 2 whole cube by volume of the unit cell. Cubic system only now, it is A cube. Okay, so you simplify A cube and A cube gets cancelled, you will get pi by 6. Pi by 6 and is equal to 0.52. Okay, or 52%. 52%. Remember, this pi by 6 sometimes, what is the packing fraction of simple cube? Pi by 6, 3 pi by 2, 3 root 2 by pi, something like that they ask. Right? They can ask either 0.52 or 52% or pi by 6 also. Remember, pi by 6 and 0.5 also. Okay, pi by 6 is equal to 0.5, 3.14 by 6. Okay, so, so f equal to pi by 6 or 52 or 0.5 means 52 percent means what do you understand only 52 percent of the simple cubic unit cell is actually getting occupied by atoms. What about the 48 percent? Empty void space. Okay, so in a simple cubic unit cell, okay, in a simple cubic unit cell, void space, okay, void or null space, okay, void or null space is 100 minus 1 minus 0.52 or 100 minus 52, 48 percent is the void space. Okay, means imagine somebody gives you a box, okay, and ask you to fill as many things as possible in that box. You fit only, you fill only with 52 percent and go, you are inefficient. Okay, only 52 percent of the unit cell is only actually getting awkward by atoms. So remaining 48 percent of simple chemical cell is empty. Vacuum, what does that contain? Vacuum, we are talking about atoms. Between two atoms, what is present? You should not say air. Okay, most of the students say what is present in what you call null space when they say air. Some people remember my example of water pouring into the room, they say sir water. No. Okay, it is vacuum because we are talking about atoms. Between two atoms, what will be present? Air means collection of atoms only. No. Between two atoms in air, what is present? Again, again, it is not air. Okay, right? It is vacuum. It is vacuum. Okay. So 48% vacuum will be there. So that's why. This is very low packing fraction, not an efficient packing. Method of packing is not efficient. Somebody you want, you are going out on some um, interview or something, right? You want to, what you call, take your suitcase, right? As many th clothes or things which are required. You put only, you fill only half of the suitcase and you are saying, sir, I want two suitcases, means somebody will come. That is not the way to if you fix your suitcase, right? They will come and it will see to you that all things come in one suitcase only. Okay, means you have to pack the suitcase perfectly. 
ओके मैं 52 परसेंट यू बैक एंड मैं इंसान ना आई वांट टू सूट केसेस ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर नॉट गोइंग इनटू मी सेट्स नॉट योर मदर और फादर विल कम यू दैट्स नॉट द वे ऑफ पैक योर सूट केस देर पैक योर सूट केस एंड देर फिट ऑल योर रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर थ्री डेज और फोर डेज इनटू वन सूट केस ओनली एंड गिव यू ओके सेम इज द केस नेचर आल्सो डज नॉट प्रेफर लूज पैक ओके नेचर आल्सो डज नॉट प्रेफर लूज पैक एंड सो आउट ऑफ सम 92 एलिमेंट्स इन द पीरियडिक टेबल ओके ओनली वन एलिमेंट क्रिस्टलाइजेस इन सिंपल यू सिस्टम द ओनली एलिमेंट राइट इज पोलोनियम polonium is the only element only element which crystallizes in simple cubic system okay right all others there are 92 okay 92 elements are there right stable elements 92 some are gases inert gases are hydrogen is a gas okay right helium neon inert gases are there some are liquids like iodine bromine etc okay remaining solids elemental solids only one element right what are the examples of simple cubic system means you can say right polonium polonium is the only example or only element which crystallizes in simple cubic system okay so remember this example polonium has simple cubic structure okay right so how do i write now i'll how do i put all the things of what you call simple cubic system simple cubic system coordination number okay coordination number equal to 6 nearest neighbor distance nearest neighbor okay nearest neighbor distance is equal to a atomic radius atomic radius right r equal to a by 2 okay number of atoms per unit cell number of atoms or lattice points per unit cell is equal to 8 into 1 by a equal to 1 okay next packing fraction f equal to Pi by six. Sir, first try pi by six. Okay, remember it has pi by six also. Sometimes question come in terms of that. Okay, so pi by six. How much is pi by six? That is equal to point five two. So what is null or void space? One minus point five two. Point four eight or forty eight percent is null or void space. Like this. This void space is very very important. Okay, very very important for material science. Okay, engineer. Why that forty eight percent only? Will add something or do something. Okay, already fifty-two percent of only those atoms are present, isn't it? So if I want to add something or remove something, whatever it is, okay, I want I want to modify the structure. I have that forty-two percent, forty-eight percent in my hands. Okay, of course, for the simple cubic polonium, only polonium is the only example as I told you. Okay, but we are studying in that way. Okay, so similarly we have to go for what are known as BCC and FCC also. That uh, both BCC, FCC, and I'll give you the comparison. between simple cubic bcn fcc in our next video okay thank you